today we're going to work with a really beautiful emerald, uh, deep, deep color, and we want to combine it with these pear-shaped diamonds and make something that's a little more elaborate than not. Uh, so we want to get an idea of what that might look like in a design, so we'll start by establishing the ring somewhat uh, and just pretty much lay in where the center stone is going to be in relationship to that ellipse or the plane of the ellipse I should say because we're going to change the the actual uh, front of the ring as we develop the drawing so I'm going to put a, a small halo of diamonds that are going to surround that center stone and then break that halo with this pear shape as it angles down the shank and uh, just put where these uh, claws will be. And then we're going to uh, further surround that pear shape with um, with diamonds that form a, a sort of a stylized heart shape around that. So now, as you can see, when we come around this way, we've changed the the relationship of the the top to the uh, the oval that established the plane of the ring, as opposed to the actual position. Uh, and then we'll come back now, and you'll just be able to see barely that other side of the ring. I've twisted the perspective a little bit so that we can get a better view of what the ring might look like. Let's clean up some of these lines and put uh, the idea of these small diamonds that will frame the center stone. And they're quite uh, uh, small and also around this pear shape. And again, framing that with yet smaller diamonds. It's hard to see in this drawing. It's a, as I say, it's just a, a rough sketch and it uh, will give you an idea of what this might look like. We're going to uh, claw set that pear shape, raising it above the plane of the diamonds that are surrounding it uh, and slightly below the frame that is surrounding the center stone. So now we come down to the, trying to uh, give some life to this uh, center stone. We'll sort of quickly box in some facets so that we can see uh, where the how that center stone is, uh, is placed there. And then uh, again, with the pear shape, we'll try and uh, uh, just in a, in a very quick way, try and uh, illustrate how that might be uh, looking. And, um, and then once we put some color on the center stone, then you'll see how the ring uh, works as a whole. Let me just uh, sort of simulate these facets, uh, or rather the beads, on the diamonds that are set around that uh, there now. That's there. That looks elaborate enough. And we'll put a little base on the on the ring itself so that you, it has a bit of form, you know, it's just not sitting out in space somewhere. And we'll try and put a bit of color on this uh, center stone here so that we can get an idea of what it might look like in that kind of a setting. I'll just work away at that a little bit. And you don't need to, uh, you just need to, you know, put a color on it, especially when there are white stones around it. The, uh, you know, you can get a very good grasp of what the, of what the, uh, what the ring would look like. Now, although we're setting 90% of the ring in, 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 in white, um, 
we still want to set the emerald, being an emerald, in, uh, so that the claws of the emerald are set in yellow, and it'll look much more, well, certainly luxurious and safer from the emerald's point of view. Try and strengthen those lines a little bit. And you get a pretty good idea of what an, a beautiful uh, ring would look like combining this really super uh, emerald uh, with little pear shapes. You get a very pretty ring that way.